In this video lecture, we will be solving another problem which is related to the equivalent circuit R, the series parallel circuit. So in this question, we are asked to find out the equivalent resistance between point A and B. So we have already discussed that what is an equivalent resistance. The equivalent resistance R equivalent between any two points is a single resistor which represents the whole network or the resistance of the whole network. So in this question, we are asked to find out the equivalent resistance between point A and B. Now before solving this problem, let's analyze this network briefly. So you can see that to this point A, these three resistors are connected in parallel because the one end of these three resistors are connected to this point and the other end of these three resistors is connected to the center of this circle. So these three resistors are in parallel. And these three resistors are also in parallel because the one end of these three resistors is connected to this point B and the other end of these three resistors is connected to the center of this circle. And this 4 ohm and 8 ohm resistors are in parallel because the one end of this 4 ohm resistor is connected to point A and the other end of this 4 ohm resistor is connected to point B. And for this 8 ohm resistor also, the one end of this 8 ohm resistor is connected to point A and the other end of this 8 ohm resistor is connected to point B. So these two resistors are sharing the same two points, so these two resistors are in parallel. Now let's redraw this network in a more simpler way. So first of all, let's say this point represents the point A and this point represents this whole point B. So the one end of this 4 ohm resistor is connected between point A and the other end is connected to point B. So this is a 4 ohm resistor. Now the one end of this 8 ohm resistor is also connected to point A. Let's say this is an 8 ohm resistor. So the one end of this 8 ohm resistor is connected to this point A and the other end of this 8 ohm resistor is connected to point B. Now if you look into this circuit, here we have another point which is the center point of this circle. Now let's say we have a point in between this network which represents the center point of this circle. So the one end of these three resistors is connected to point A and the other end of these three resistors is connected to this center point. So the one end of this three resistor is connected to point A and the other end of this three resistor is connected to the center of this circle. So let's say this is the center point of this circle. Now for this case, the one end of these three resistors is connected to point B and the other end of these three resistors is connected to this center point. So the one end of these three resistors is connected to point B and the other end is connected to the center of this circle. And these three resistors are 12 ohm, 12 ohm, 12 ohm. And these three resistors are also 12 ohms, 12 ohms, and 12 ohms. So this is the simplified version of this network. So now we can easily solve this network by using the rules which we use for the series circuits and for the parallel circuits. So these three resistors are in connected in parallel because the one end of these three resistors is connected to this point and the other end of these three resistors is connected to this point. These three resistors are sharing the same two points. So by using the rules of parallel circuits, let's say 1 divided by R equivalent will be equals to 1 divided by 12 plus 1 divided by 12 plus 1 divided by 12. So if you use your calculator, so the R equivalent of these three resistors will be equals to 4 ohms. Now the same is the case for these three resistors because these three resistors are also connected in parallel. Because the one end of these three resistors is connected to the center of this network and the other end of these three resistors is connected to point B. So these three resistors are also having the equivalent resistance of 4 ohms. Now let's replace these three resistors and these three resistors by its equivalent resistance. So the equivalent resistance. So it, let's say this is the center point. So the equivalent resistance of these three resistors is 4 ohms. And the equivalent resistance of these three resistors is also 4 ohms. And this is the center point of this whole network. Now from this you can easily see that these two resistors are in series because there is one path available for the current to flow through these two resistors. So the equivalent of these two resistors, let's say R, will be equals to 
4 plus 4 which is equals to 8 ohms so we can replace these two resistors by its equivalent resistance of 8 ohms its equivalent resistance of 8 ohms so if you analyze again this network then you will see that these three resistors are connected in parallel because the one end of these three resistors is connected to this point and the other end of these three resistors is connected to this point B so these three resistors are sharing the same two points so the equivalent resistance between these two points A and B will be equals to 1 divided by R a B let's say is the equivalent resistance between these two points will be equals to 1 divided by 4 plus 1 divided by 8 plus 1 divided by 8 now after calculating this you will get R A B will be equals to 2 ohms so basically 2 ohms is the equivalent resistance between these two points are the 2 ohms is the equivalent resistance between these two points so the equivalent resistance between point a and b is 2 ohms point a and b is 2 ohms so it's all for this problem now we have a homework problem for you to practice in which you are asked to find out the equivalent resistance between point a and b of this network so here we have a network in which you are asked to find out the equivalent resistance between point A and B. So once you have your answer posted in the comment section below. So it's all for today's presentation. If you have any doubt, ask in the comment section. In the next presentation, we'll be discussing another a complex problem related to the series parallel circuit. So see you in the next one.